Talon Renner, who was accused of beating Preston Lord to death, also got into a fight and inflicted serious physical injury on somebody else, either in uh, 2022 or early in 2023. So, uh, according to the lawsuit that was filed by Preston Lord's parents. Joining us right now is our KTAR legal analyst, Barry Markson. Barry, is it normal to try to hold parents liable for the actions of their kids? We saw this happen in Michigan with that school shooter situation where the parents were charged in that circumstance, which seemed to be a little bit egregious. This time around, we're seeing it happening after the Preston Lord murder. Is that is that something we should get used to seeing? Well, yeah. I mean, keep in mind, this is civil responsibility as opposed to what we saw in Michigan, which was criminal responsibility. So those are you know, two obviously pretty big differences there. But Arizona has a parental responsibility law, which makes parents responsible for their, their children's malicious acts uh, and acts that hurt people or property. Parents are uh, responsible along with their children for that. So uh, the legislature has, has set this up where parents should be responsible for that uh, with, the, with their kids. How often does that get used, though? I don't, I don't recall hearing that. But then again, I guess I'm not paying attention to all the cases that come through the civil courts. Yeah, it's. I mean, I don't think it's used all that often because you remember it's got to just be a, a kid who is, um, a kid who is doing something that's harming somebody else maliciously. It's not, you know, it isn't just like a car accident or something. It has to be a little bit more than that, an intentional act or a malicious act uh, that harms people or property. So, but it's definitely a statute. It's definitely available uh, for for people who are harmed by someone else's kids if what they're doing is is uh, is is causing that harm. So. Here they're suing not just the kids, but also the parents and, uh, the, and the, the parents who have the uh, the thing as well. Talking with KTAR News legal analyst Barry Markson. And Barry, one of the quotes from the Lord's family attorney says, the Lord family seeks justice and accountability for all of those who contributed to Preston's death. Um, you're, the, you're the lawyer in the room here. That's lawyer speak for what? Because I don't feel like in, in targeting the, the seven who've been charged with murder, one set of parents and the uh, family that allegedly hosted this uh, gathering that had hundreds of kids present is is really um, targeting all of those who contributed to Preston's death. But how do you interpret that sentence? Well, I, I think what they're referring to is that there's at least two sets of parents who weren't charged criminally. So the kids were all charged criminally, uh, but the parents who held the party it's, itself were not charged criminally. And I don't think the renter parents were charged criminally. So this is a way to hold them accountable uh, at least according to Preston Lord's parents, to bring them into this as well. You know, for the other the other people's kids, uh, they may well be added to the lawsuit later, depending on what, what is uncovered in this investigation, what the police have as far as who was the most responsible for this. Uh, but but that's I think that's what they're talking about, is bringing some of the parents in who were not criminally charged. Any idea in terms of uh, monetary punishment, what what you would be seeking for in something like this? Well, this is a, this is a wrongful death case. So, I mean, it's it's you're literally going to be compensated. The families will be compensated for their their loss of uh, of their relationship with their with the with Preston Lord with mm -hmm. their with their son. So, it's going to be the loss of, of that relationship. It's going to be uh, the companionship, the love. The you know, I mean, they would have had years and decades with their son, and they don't get that anymore. So, uh, they're that's it, it, I mean, financially, wrongful death cases are very difficult to evaluate. It can be worth into the millions. Um, if, you know, again, it depends on the type of relationship they had. I'm, I'm assuming the parents had, a, a, you know, when your kid's living at home, even if you're not super close as teenagers, you're still having a very close relationship. So I'm sure we'll hear uh, in that lawsuit that the parents had a great relationship with Preston and they were looking forward to, you know, decades to come of watching their son you know, grow and, uh, you know, go to college or get married, have kids and do everything that they were hoping to, to do with their son. And all of that was taken away from them. So the question is, what is the what is that worth? financially how much money is that worth hey barry along the same lines the story reported from uh, robert england and uh elena santa cruz from uh, the republic said that uh, many civil lawsuits the desired dollar amount for damages is specified but in this case it was not so that would be left to the jury to decide if the jury comes yeah. back and says look it's uh 10 million dollars i'm just throwing numbers out here right uh you're responsible yeah. for 10 million dollars but you've got seven of the defendants in this case, or seven people named in the lawsuit, uh, could potentially be behind bars for the next 50 to 100 years. Uh, how do they collect? What What is the value of $10 million if it's going to go to people whose only earning potential is making license plates? Yeah, so for, uh, first off, let me just mention that in Arizona, in a case like this, you, you don't include a dollar amount in the lawsuit. So you only include a dollar amount when you when you have what's called a sum certain, when you know the specific amount. So 
if there's property damage to my car, and I know it costs exactly $6,000 to repair the car, you put that in there. But for something like this with personal injuries or wrongful death claims, you don't put a dollar amount in a lawsuit in Arizona. So that's not unusual. Um, to answer your question, these families may well have insurance that would cover some of this. Maybe not if it's determined to be uh, an intentional act, uh, which, which may be excluded. But there may be some homeowners insurance policies may potentially provide insurance. Um, and then the other thing is they can get a judgment against these kids. And you're right, they, they may not be able to pay it right away, uh, but it's unlikely that they'll, except for maybe one or two of them, it's unlikely that any of them will be in prison for the rest of their lives. That judgment survives. So if they're in prison for 15 years and they come out at, you know, at 35 or 40 and that, that judgment's there with interest building and they can move to enforce it, they can move to garnish wages, they can, you know, if the, if the person ever has income or develops any sort of wealth, they can go after it. So that, that's what it is. But I, I think it's also just getting that, that additional judgment against the people who perpetrated this, this harm to their son and, and having that in place as well. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Barry. KTAR News Analyst, uh, Legal Analyst Barry Markson, uh, walking us through a, uh, a civil suit filed on behalf of Preston Lord's parents, uh, targeting the seven uh, gentlemen who are behind bars charged with his murder. Additionally, well, one set of parents and the family that hosted the gathering that, that led up to all of this. Thanks so much, Barry. Thanks for watching The Chris and Joe Show. Click to see more from Chris and Joe and tap the button in the middle to subscribe to KTAR News.